on week number one, uh, we talked about uh, living single. Um, uh, week number two, we talked about living married. And week number three, we talked about living divorced. Uh, and it's, it's interesting to know, and we're getting a lot of feedback here. Um, and so there are some questions and, uh, that we, we've been having over here that I'm going to ask that we, we try and answer these questions okay. as we talk about our story. Sure. All right? Because uh, we are pressed for time. We, last week we went over time. This week I don't want to go over time. All right? All right? And so uh, hopefully we'll be done uh, within the given uh, circumstances that we have. So let me just throw this question out to you guys, okay? Right. Uh, as people get to know, get to know you. Um, uh, what does it mean, uh, these are questions that you sent on our, on our WhatsApp platform, what does it mean and how does it look like to intentionally date? Uh, voila. <laughs> well, thank you very much for having us here today. Um, as you've had, we are the Maxis or the Guitars. You call um, yourselves the Maxis? Yes, the yeah. Maxis. Yeah. Yo. Yes, okay. yes, uh-huh. we are the Maxis. Um, I'll, I'll attempt to answer that question as we as did As you it. tell your story. Yeah, yes, yeah. As, as, yeah. as we did it. Yeah. So we met um, almost two decades ago now, uh, but that's the very first time of meeting. We just noticed each other. At you our, just noticed each other? Yes, at a friend's wedding. Yeah. Um, but uh, we didn't do much about the noticing. But when we first made it deliberate, we started. We were both single in 2007. Um, but when we first saw each other and there was a sparkle in each of our eyes. Yes, and that kind of you know, yes. strings, mu- string music in the We background. didn't waste time. You didn't we, waste time. We, that, the same day, we yeah. were at an event. We exchanged numbers and we started... Uh, quote unquote, seeing each other. All right. Why well, that? I, I've, I've known you for some time, eh? Yes. Uh, you know, powerful woman. How? I've known you since you were a fresher in university. Yes, two yeah. thousand. And we used to call you Black Beauty. How? Sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> no, not sweetie. No, she was popularly known in this as sweetie. Did, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, yes. Thanks to the power of Remis. Hallelujah. I'm a brand ambassador. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, back in so 2000. So I've known you as a confident woman. <laughs> uh, and this guy just came and just, you gave him your number? Really? Kaida, he is the one who forced his number on my uh, phone. Actually, she took your phone? Yeah, uh, you know. Actually. <laughs> But Actually also not. because I'm into CSR and I just love people, I accepted his number. And also because I'm a Christian girl and I don't want to hurt people. Look at you. So <laughs> Everybody hear another version on this end? It was a quick exchange. A quick exchange. <laughs> Very quick. But a big, but a boom. Yes. It's done. Also yes. because I kind of liked what I saw. Okay. What did you like? Uh, first of all, his uh, physical was wow. wow. The kids have gone, eh, you yeah. guys? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> uh-huh. Black Lives Matter, yes. they ended with me. So <laughs> I needed my kids to be pointy. Me, I'd seen. I'm like, hey, I'd say the long time ago, my kids needed to be pointy. <laughs> so Maxi was the yellow jungle man, you closest see, you see, jungle. You see what I told you about Waidera? I, I, yeah. So, so this was the closest to, to, to a jungle to guy. A jungle yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> And here we are, two children In later. my future life, I want to get married to a white man. Yes. That's what you're saying. Yes, and yeah, yeah. Here, this here. is here it is. This is it. Yes. So, <laughs> what redeemed us. And evidently, I like the humor that, <laughs> that, that I, I noticed. Yes. So These are uh, one of the things you get to know about why they are almost... Instantly, yes. yes. So she's very, very instant. Person. Yeah. And yes. she, actually, at the event where we were... Uh, where we met, she was emceeing the function. She was so I was in stitches the entire time, the yes. entire evening. Yeah. Both um, at the event and then immediately after. Now so we immediately started. after the event, you know, you exchange numbers and we, then... We exchange numbers and then we start talking. Yes. I, I, I escort her. So the event was at Fungamano House. Fungamano. She lived at the YMCA because she was a master's student at um, UON at the yeah. time. Yeah. So I escort her to the UON. I mean to, to YMCA, yeah. and then I go home. Uh, I, she asks, "Please let me know when you get home." Uh, I'm a good guy. Um, I didn't let her know when I got home. We started chatting immediately after, so she knew every move. 
<laughs> uh, this is where I'm at right now. Thank you for the lovely evening, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, We, for the next two years, really just dated. Um, spent a lot of time getting to know each other, each other's friends, this year's, each other's... This year's art project was long. It, it was long. long. It was a sustainable <laughs> project. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The entire of 2007 and 2008 and 2009 was actually spent just uh, going to a lot of cheesy Kidum concerts and yes. uh, my plays, my plays, movies, you name it, going yeah. to Aboretum. And, and this time you were just being wowed. You were like, woo, woo. Yeah. 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 So did, 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 this, this person has asked, what does it mean and how does it look like to intentionally date? So what was intentional about this dating? I'm not sure then it was intentional dating because there was a lot of hanging out. I think for me the intentional dating came when we got engaged because then he declared what his intentions what were. What you told me, you guys, is that this guy actually traveled. You had moved to Mombasa. Yeah, you? I'd moved to Mombasa. So what became intentional now, was it because you were long distancing? Yeah, he just felt like, guy, I can't live without this chick. Yeah. So... <laughs> Me, I was in. See, the girls feel me. Yeah, yeah when you know your worth. So, yeah. me, I'm Uko, uh, making you... money for my employer, changing campus life students, because yes. uh, I was working at I Choose Life. Um, then he took a bus all the way from Nairobi, spent a whole night mm -hmm. in the bus, arrived on my doorstep at six in the arm. Um, I'm open, I'm like, where are you here? Yeah. Then bombarded me with information for Ati, I want us to be friends. That's what you asked me. BFFs. Yeah, like BFFs. Friends for life. Like you took a bus. Sydney, you could have said she this was, on the phone. She was living with a cat. She had even named the cat. So, CSR. I mean, really. CSR. So, I, so I, I was like, I'm, I'm going to help you out in life. Yeah. You cannot live with a cat. A cat cannot be your best friend. Let me be your best friend. And I promise I'll be your best friend for life. So, so you, I gave her a ring uh -huh. for, that, for, that, for us to seal that deal. Okay. Yes. You are not engaging her. No, I was engaging her to be a friend for life. So you, how did you, uh, how did you, how did you understand this? Um, I, I knew, I knew what my boundaries were. So this is not engagement for engagement for marriage. Yes. It's engagement for BFFs. Yes. So in So case, are you going to have? That, Anna, that, yella, yella, that was yella. The name yeah, came. Yeah. Uh, I'll be telling this Anna, yella, yella, But the guy. Lord is good. <laughs> the Lord is good. So yes. I'll be telling, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So in December of uh, 2009. Mm. Uh, he officially asked me to be his wife. So first, he told you, Apa, mm. BFF. What he did, alieka deposit, kwaduka. <laughs> ya muindi. Ya iyo tenje. Ya 60,000. Yeah, 60,000. Yeah. And, and he started like, depositing. Deposit. So 60,000 ilifika. It cannot go. The tenje can't yeah. go. So 60,000 ilifika <laughs> end of December. It's called strategy. Yes. Mm. yes. End of 2009, 60,000 ilifika. Yes. Going, going, gone. gone. Yes. <laughs> so he proposed to you. He proposed. And you said. And I said, yes. All right. You guys there. So I'm going to ask another question here. Is it possible to have a long-term relationship without having sex in this day? I mean, is it possible? Quote, girls are available more than ever. Why wait? Another person asked, is it harder... For men to wait to have sex in marriage? <laughs> da, 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 da. I, every, I, 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 every man is a hot-blooded male mammal. Yes. And the... And, uh, Kwani, women are not? <laughs> I think women too are. Yes. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's interesting that the temptation during during, as you wait to get married, only becomes more and more and more. Especially yes. closer to the wedding date, yes. you, pr you perhaps want to fall to that temptation a lot, a lot more. H here's the thing. Yeah. I think I know where many of these questions come from. Mm -hmm. Is the Bible old-fashioned? You, you know, yeah. is the, I mean, come on, in this day and age. That's what I'm hearing, uh, not just from questions like this, why do we stick to these rules? And why, I'm assuming, you guys tried and attempted to stick to these rules <laughs> during your courtship. Why, I mean, why are these rules there? The big picture is important to have constantly. Yes. 
And I think when God um, asks us to wait yes. for this fruit, <laughs> yeah. uh, for us to have this fruit after, yes. the idea is not to punish us. It's not a punitive thing for both the lady and the man so that by the time you're um, crossing over to marriage, then that's when you have it. Yeah. The idea is for, for it to be enjoyed at the right time. And if we forget that when you are in the dating period, it, begin, it, it, it throws us off balance. It causes other things that would have been happening during the uh, dating period, like getting to know each other, like um, opening ourselves up, like creating intimacy outside of sex. Uh, it, creates, it creates the wrong foundation for those things. Where this, this guy who fit your, your, your package. So how are you saying Z? No. Um, so, you know, like the Jacob knew Rachel. No, no, no. I don't know. I wasn't, so, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't there. So, even for, so I waited yes. um, until marriage. Uh, but truth be told, you don't get a trophy. For at you waited, you know, yet, yet, yet. but uh, I know because of hearing maybe experiences from people who've been there before, the the heartache you save yourself, and like uh, he's saying, uh, I know of a couple of friends who, because we have fought, our only solution is found in having sex. Sex. Yes. So we never see the conflict. Through. Yes. Because to not do a mission, hot, Sex. passionate. Sex. Good job. I pastor. Yes. I'm glad you say it. Yes. So <laughs> I can I can say it again. No, 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 no. Sex. No, yeah, yeah. So now you're, you're, you're afraid of saying sex. No, pastor. <laughs> so now when we come when you get married, yeah. And uh, you're trying to solve something. Yes. You realize you don't come into conclusion because you, all you do is sex. Good job. Okay. Yeah. I, I, so I would answer this yeah. and um, uh, allow me. Maybe you can agree with this, but I actually think that those boundaries God has put for us are for our good. Yes. yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I, I read here from the book of um, Psalm 16, verse 6. It says, The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. Um, I, I hear that. Let me, let me ask one more question as we go on hearing your, you, you guys. Eh? So we're, we're, going, we're going post-2009 after you said I do. Yes. Maze, you start doing the visit, visit, visit and say, how do you know if my partner is the one sent from God? <laughs> how do you know that he is the one, <laughs> the, the one, one. Hey, the one, <laughs> the one? Yes. That's an interesting question. I have never ever doubted that she's the one, but I've, I've doubted if I'm the right fit for her once or twice in the journey. Wow. wow. Um, I'm hearing that for the first time. You're hearing that in the first time. Mm. Um, do, we, do we need to like take a pause? We need and, communion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, just, and the very first time it happened, I think she knows, was as you were planning for the wedding, yes. uh, now it is around 2010, I went and I had a conversation with my pastor and I told him my God, I don't, I don't feel ready for this. I feel, I, feel the, the, I, I feel very afraid. I'm actually totally afraid about this. I, I was developing cold feet as I faced the reality that I'm getting ready to have someone else's daughter. I had not had any example in my background. I came from a single parent home. I had not had that an experience, not from my uncles, not from my aunties, not from my own immediate nuclear family, of what it looked like. To, to, I was going to be the first person to actually have a wedding. So it freaked me out completely. So I, I, I got very, very afraid to make a wrong husband, uh, as an example. So uh, that freaked me out. And, and so it, why, why did you go on with it? So he told me, just pray. It's, it's normal. He talked that's, to me. That's what we pastors always yeah. say. Yeah. He, just, he, just pray. He, he, was, he, that, was that sufficient for you? So I, I, that wasn't fully sufficient for me. So I talked to my best man as well. Yes. Uh, my best man told me, wow, this I'll pray for you. Him, he told me he'll pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I have two. Uh, he's also a pastor. So I had two pastors who, who said, one, one said, I'll pray. I'll pray. The other, the other said, said, you pray. pray. Yes. Um, but I had to... I had to make the decision. So I, I mentioned to her, I think, either before or after the wedding, she fracked out with me that, am I, 
I, are you are you are you fearing to get married? So I to remember me? I told him, yeah. if you are doubting, yeah. please tell me we pick you a date now. now. Yes. We go get your Rura show, please. Don't waste my time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but oh, you see, oh, oh, I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't back enough from it. I was yeah. just expressing. This is the reality. Yeah, yeah, I was expressing my my the immediate feeling of fear and tension about this. Maxi, you and I have been serving in church before, and you've heard this from other men. Yeah, it is a reality. We all face this. This it is big. Yeah, it's big. Like we are taking another another man's so, daughter, daughter. Another woman's daughter yeah. into our house. Yeah. Uh, that's, I mean, it's a thing to be... For better, for worse. Yes. For richer, for poorer. Yeah, till it's, death do us part. Eh. Eh. It wasn't, it wasn't easy at all. And then again, now during, um, in the first year of marriage, yeah. uh, maybe just to fast track, in the first year of marriage, we had a lot of, koso koso, a, a lot of yeah. <laughs> yeah. things were falling apart all over yeah. the place. I, I, I started now fearing that. I remembered some words my stepdad told my mother yeah. that... Um, uh, I, I don't know how this marriage will go. Wow. Now, and now, he didn't tell me. He just, he just did mentioned you, Did you see some of those signs on this side of I do, on this side? Before yes. you said I did, you saw your fears. So what were you seeing that was bringing your inadequacies? And for you, what were some of the things you were like? Hey! To make. Did you have every, any of those to make moments? I didn't have. Hey. I didn't have. Um, I think... I don't know, and he tells me that I'm very logical. So even agreeing to the yes was, I had a list. First of all, I had a list. Do's and don'ts. Yes. Um, I looked, I'm like, okay, what can I tolerate in this, um, in this guy? Yeah. So he has one habit that even today we came fighting about. But even today? Even today oh, when we're coming here to... Let's <laughs> no, Let's no, don't take me to that space. So he'll always... <laughs> have a thing in his mouth, either a ballpoint thing or a toothpick. Now you ate nyama at 7 in the arm. And at 2 in the p.m. he still have, you see, he has... <laughs> Let me tell you, it doesn't matter where he's in a presidential forum, this thing is in there. Yeah. See, it's in the pocket. Yeah. So I looked, <laughs> I was like, uh, oh. can, I, can I tolerate this one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and there are some things we you can, know. you know. Yeah. Uh, ca- I didn't have issues with character. Yeah, those, yeah, those people who sip their tea. <laughs> no, luckily, <laughs> no. He doesn't finish his tea. Yeah. So I'm like, it, cumulatively at the end of the year, to me, I got 20 liters of tea. Amma, there are those people. <laughs> Amma, there are those people. Who go, <laughs> <laughs> no. No, okay. no. So but these were small so, things. But yeah, what, were the, really what, were the, what were the red flags that you may have seen that you ignored? Um, I think maybe once or twice I saw him angry. Yes. But I thought those guys deserved it. Like, why did you push him there? Yeah. Like, you guys. Yes. You saw him so, unleash it at others. At others, okay. but never at me. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys wanted to get married in October 2010. Yes, yes we did. You it was a perfect day. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Yes. Did you get married on 10, 10, 10? I, our parents were like, it's a Sunday. Yeah. How do you Souls get married on Sunday? Souls need to be yeah. saved on that on Sunday. Sunday yes. yeah. so, so you are interrupting God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they they negotiated with us. Yes. So we mutually agreed to for it to be on the thirtieth instead. So thirty ten ten. Yes. You get married. Mm. Honeymoon is yes. very ha- wonderful. It's happening. happening. It's lit. It's lit. Yeah. And then the honeymoon stage continues after you come back from honeymoon. Yes. And uh, for a whooping. Yeah. A whooping. Two months. Two. Two. Two months. So Two months. That was November. Usually guys talk about years. I wish they Two would. Two years. Like when people tell me that we've had a good time, we started to do storming at year three. Yeah. I'm like, see, where's identify? You guys. <laughs> this is December, Christmas. There's drama. Yes. January. Yes. January. January. January first. Happy yeah. New Year. Drama. We had to behave ourselves visiting both sides of the folks. You know, so we're starting a culture. Yeah. For Chrissy, Chrissy your side. Chrissy, Chrissy, Boxing Nini, Day, yes. my side. Yes. New Year's, us together. Yeah. Ah, la, la, and then la, la, drama. La. Yeah. The following day. Yeah. January 2nd. <laughs> no, we are good up to, I think, 15th. Because yeah. January 3rd birthday. is my birthday. Yes. 14th is his birthday. Yes. Uh-huh. Then now, Nini, that thing that hits the fan. Hey, it's hits the fan. you guys, you're mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what were these 
this is my drama video <laughs> experiences for you. So for me I realized the things that attracted me to him his repulsed yellow, yellow. me. His yellow yellowness. Yeah, like who do you think you are? You think you're God's gift to women? Yes. His choleric nature because he's such a go-getter, he's a workaholic, he'll get stuff done. You know, I'm thinking, no, all of a sudden, you're too abrasive, you're not patient. Who gives you the right to talk to people like that? Who gives you the right to talk to me like that? But these are the things that, that attracted. Exactly. Like, the human I don't, being is never satisfied. Is never, that's where Jesus came, for yeah. such as I. Yeah. So, <laughs> so they started, one, one, yeah. Yeah, one fight as an, another. And another. And what, what were some of the things that the attracted? The same things she's saying yes. are the same things I was getting annoyed about her. Yeah. Because, you know, we, you, we, we, we were attracted about the same things, but then there were also the same things that were repelling us against each other. So everything she's just described was exactly the same things that so her, I was So her feeling. humor was no longer humor. It uh, ended no, up looking like she's flippant. Her humor, yeah. I, I mean, I remember in... in, in so I, I, I resigned from my place of work yeah. to focus on something else. Yeah. Whereas she would be humorous about it and she'd make fun, yes. she... she, she co- uh, and the fun that she would make, she'd say, house band. Yes. Hey. See, these guys have laughed. See, it was, see it's funny. See now. See. Somebody it would go to a very wrong place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't a very tell, you don't wrong tell an place. unemployed man house, house band. House band. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so she, she would mention it like three or four times in, in a span of two or three weeks. And let me tell you, every time she would mention it, it wasn't funny to me. Yeah. So one day I just decided I'm going to pick up a job somewhere. Yeah. And, and I, I was having consultancies I was doing. I was traveling every weekend to places um, to facilitate some, <coughs> some uh, seminars with young people. And they were paying. But just because I was being called husband for staying ha- yeah. home In during the, the week. Yeah. Hey. So... One thing after another was yeah. happening. Were you resolving this conflict? No. No, we will never come to the end the roots, of it. Yeah. Yeah. So even uh, physically, we yes. repulsed each other. So yeah. there was no longer so any sexual no intimacy, intimacy at all. all. Communication. <laughs> we were fasting. Fasting. Yeah. Lango <laughs> lifungwa. Hallelujah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Lango, lango. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. oh, snap. So, um, <laughs> everything. And then at the time, I'm working for a thriving ministry. Yes, a thriving ministry. A thriving ministry. I'm serious. <laughs> I, okay, to other single people, let me just explain <laughs> to you guys. We married people, you know that Oscars are happening. We will all get Oscars. Because we can show you what is happening, but at the, all you just need to do is scratch the surface. The surface, true. And, and uh, so we act a lot. So in the outside, people are thinking you're fine. We are making you, you, where, where were you work? You're working now? Yes, at a church, at in a church, church yes. running the Sunday school, the marriage ministry. Cause they, you are pastor. Alas. Yeah. yeah. Now, but because I, I, of the heaviness that was happening at home, I used to tell them, I'm a ministry assistant. Because I'm a pastor. Because I where I'm from. Now, where <laughs> You, you are serving... I was serving the Lord's people. Yes. Who are uh, the others. Yes. <laughs> the others that Christ came for. Yeah. Yes. But you were part of the preaching team in the I was church. part of the preaching team. Yes. As a matter of fact, one day I preached yeah. um, about the others. Yeah. And then I went to be interviewed we'll, for the others. We'll come, we'll come to that. Mm. We'll come to this, the, the others. Mm. Can you marry the wrong spouse? Yes. Were you thinking that? At that point, yes. Yes. You said, oh, my, my God. God. All this, thing, I may have done the wrong thing. Yes, yes. Every But there's day. no way out. You said, still death do, do us spa- Yeah, yeah, need that close. So you, so you believe you can marry the wrong spouse? Yes, I believe you can marry the what wrong What about spouse? you? That's a catch-22 situation kind of question. Um, because I think you make you make the right spouse. The idea is for me to be right. Mm-hmm. At times we look at the other person and we are taking it out on the other person but not making it right ourselves. So it, the idea is, should I be the right spouse for my spouse? I think the question is more of who am I? Am I the right spouse? Uh, and if I'm the right spouse, then that other person will either fall off or, 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 or be, be right now for me. Okay. Let's go on. So, 
drama is now going from from bad to us yeah. do you have children now at this um, point at this point around you know, june it is fire so I think we are we are pregnant at the time. I like I like uh, that we are pregnant. We are pregnant. It's a collective term. Yes, Before then pronoun. it was I. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> uh we are pregnant. Your expectation is a very Post. tough pregnancy. Uh-huh. Um he's working for those those wale uh, wale. Uh, all right. After that time of house band. You So that the period yes. of house band. <laughs> hey. So you got a job. Yes I did. Where, where did you get this job? Um uh, an organization called uh, GALC, the Gal- Gay and Lesbian Coalition of Kenya to be <gasps> a general manager. So you a preacher mm-hmm. and a husband to a pastor minister <laughs> who is about to become a father. Who is about to become a father, okay? Gets this job in this gay lobby. Well, gay yeah. and lesbian lobby. Mm-hmm. Okay? So what does that do to you? Well, how how do you feel about that um i'm very disengaged you are already disengaged yeah. so that decision does I'm not like for whatever if that makes you feel like a man shauri yako you know uh what i don't know um and maybe as i even speak to fellow wives is when we become disengaged what does that thing that does not nini occupy a vacuum what is that kakut okay that one yes. yeah at it Nature, Nature ab- abhors, abhors a vacuum. vacuum. So there will be something or someone else to occupy that. Yes. So for this instance, it was work. So Was that for both of you? Yeah, yeah. for both of us. You so both? if an hour work, Sundays I am busy a meeting the yeah. volunteers at church. Yeah, they are having, they are having meetings. So by the time we get home, we are all tired. We are not talking. All right, not, just to be able to get this, yeah? Mm. It's not that we are against... No, about no. against gay, gay. The church is open yes. to gays yes. and lesbians coming to church. Mm-hmm. We're open. However, we yes, when we but, them. <laughs> but here you are promoting it. Yes. All right? Mm-hmm. Um you're promoting it. Isn't that a contradiction for you? So, when I got the job, I was going in as a general manager. How my JD read at the time uh did not have a lot of advocacy roles necessarily. Yeah. It was a lot of managerial roles. it was administrative work yeah but as soon as i get there i think it didn't last a week before i was reading the newspaper and the caption was the chair the chairman of the gay people in kenya has said the following <laughs> well <laughs> so you can in imagine, a national newspaper you can imagine me trying to explain to mr kibinda yes. who is in the 60s yes. what my husband is doing with the gay people yes considering they came for a wed like a year ago with his Just boys so it's guys are now questioning his his sexuality yeah. his sexual but problems. his wife is also pregnant yes. so it makes it harder yes. and why would a heterosexual take a yeah it was so messed up so so, so was it this now compounding now the stress yeah it was in the family yeah. and in then the marriage my my work involved a lot of travel also a lot so in during the weekends would be traveling a lot to uh, outside of town like to different townships to do some work with young people and then during the week i am at work and then in the evenings i go to the library because i'm also pursuing my masters at the time so literally every hour is taken so we don't have time to talk about issues so issues are piling up under the carpet under the carpet under the they carpet they become big bumps yeah they become yeah. really huge bumps so because issues are not being discussed they're not being there isn't any solution to a single issue um a distance between us has been created and it's so large uh we have become just people who live together clarify can you submit to this guy now at that point yes heck no uh, what so to what <laughs> he's not present somebody he's says not present. here um pastor olunga uh, um alluded to feminism and affirmative action it ends out there but in the home uh, something has to look different so what does submitting look like for you first what do you understand about submission in marriage but what does submitting what was submitting look like for you at that time so there is no love at this point whether godly love or romantic love nothing yeah so we can't even share decisions yeah you know and uh, for me submission is allowing him to lead but i'm not allowing him to lead where is he taking us 
So what we had in that, the figure I have of that first phase of our marriage is a monster because there were two heads. There are two leaders in that country of ours, the Marxist household. Um, and you will not even hear me out, even if the decision was to save us from poverty or whatever. He will not hear me out because we are not friends, we are not on the same page. So there's a place of me coming down, not losing my womanhood or being the wife or losing, I don't know what, my titles, I don't know, uh, and him taking over. So uh, it was hard. It was hard. So what do you understand as submission? I mean, in, in this place, why, why, why this? Mm -hmm. What do you understand as submission? When you talk about submission in marriage, what does it look like? What, what do you understand it to be now? Um, now in this phase two is um, allowing Maxi to lead. He'll hear me making, uh, offering solutions. Uh, we are partners in this thing but he's taking us somewhere, he has a vision. Um, for example, like I was, I was trying to share with you about where we are currently staying, and yes, that has you, been you guys, a you guys stay, thorn. You stay on the on thick, Thicker Road area. Thick, just call it Moranga, we yeah. live in Thicker Road. <laughs> and my life happens on this side. He's yes. been working in Westlands, as in everything is on this side. Yes. So I have sung, I have written, I've taken him on date nights, we have visited woods around Ngong Road for guides. We just move. Yeah. His best friend has told him about moving. Yes. <laughs> uh, but he's adamant about it. You yeah. know, uh, that he, there's a reason why he wants us to stay. Yeah. So I have an option to either tell him, eh, move us wanakuja kesho asubui to meenda Lovington, karibu Lovington Mall, find us with the kids. I have an option of pouting for the rest of my life until the day we move. But I also have an option to make the best out of every situation because I know he's listening and he's hearing me. Is it a bone of contention currently? Yes. But I have to make the best out of that situation. So um, I'm agreeing and I'm hearing him and it's not affecting the other departments of our lives. So what you're saying is I've agreed to disagree yes. and you've deferred to his, yes. his leadership on this. And I still respect him as the man that he ought to be. Here's somebody who's saying this, yeah? I used to be the breadwinner for our household after I lost my job. My wife started taking up most of the financial burden. She has become more arrogant, disregarding my concerns or leadership. How do I redeem headship without money in the bank? Are you hearing those? Mm -mm. Those are jamas. Those are the guys. <laughs> Here we've talked about submission. <laughs> this is a man who's feeling emasculated. Yeah, bro, I feel your pain. <laughs> uh, you need to be on a Mani Marangas podcast. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I, that's a hard one, Pasi. Uh, because on one end, this guy um, uh, has, put, has put treasure has put his heart on, 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 um, on finances. It's, it's, it's finances that probably defined, defined who he was. Yes. And so he feels that uh, when these finances, or w when the amount of finances that he used to bring into his home has been taken away, he no longer has, he no longer has that, that place of value that he used to have. Uh, I think identity is looking larger than, you know, his contribution financially. Got you. Yeah, so he, he probably needs to define who he is outside of finances. Because tomorrow it will be something else. Um, oh, mm. And, and <laughs> it's for him, it, even if he gets a, a, another job, his wife might get an even more pain. She'll get a promotion. Exactly. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and get exactly even more pay. More pay. And th that could end up never being a place. He just needs to define get a, a, an identity that is outside of, uh, outside of the realm of finances. I, I'd, hope, I'd hope you'd say he should find his identity in? In God. Thank you, yeah. thank you, thank in you. God, completely. Thank you, thank you. So, this drama has it that there are how many basements have you gone to? Hey, you've, you've reached a low. You've we have gone south low. now. So, no, don't use the term south in NC South here. 
Use another one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. use another best one. Best venture as a new yeah. best venture. Yeah, 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 as a yes. new best venture. <laughs> yes. So you've reached a law, yes. and this is year three. You're mm. pregnant. You're, and so what mm. happens? What is the lowest? Year two. This is year two. Year yes. two. Yes. Okay. So, so what's the lowest basement you've reached? The lowest of the lowest of the north is uh, February thirteenth. Uh, you even know the date. Uh, I know the date. I know the hour. Kwani, what happened yeah. on February the 13th? So we had a... Uh, sorry? No, don't worry. Some people... Oh, it's a conference. conference. Oh, the oh. guys were packing for the conference. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the Siokimau Ranch, because yes. <laughs> that's where we had just to move to, uh, like, what, uh, uh, three days, three days or so. Yeah. Um, you had moved. We are just. You are going to, to start a house. You yes. Moved from a smaller house to yes. a bigger house. Yes. Yes. Because I remember Siokimau. Yes yes, yes. yes. So now you're on Siokimau. Siokimau. Uh, we had a good evening. Um, so he decides to go and rest because again it was hard work working for key population people projects and looking for funds. Yes. So I decided, let me stay up a bit late, watching some news. And then uh, Feb 14th was the EDD, expected delivery date for our son. So I was, I mean, I to keep myself busy. Um, so I'm watching the news, and there's a lot of domestic violence stories. People are killing each other. I'm like, I don't want people get to this stage. Like, yeah. you know, I don't understand. Yeah. So anyway, I continue doing some stuff, and then I go to bed. So I can't sleep. Because, I mean, it's first very uncomfortable. We have moved to have no earphones. So I'm like, okay, let me just watch something on the laptop. Yeah. And then... Mm -hmm. uh, and you? What she's calling... Uh, uh, watching something on the laptop. For me, at that time I've slept, I start hearing loud voices. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it was loud. Too yeah. loud for me. So I ask her, please, Punguza volume. And uh, that goes unnoticed. So, I, I, an evil spirit, <laughs> an evil spirit entered me. I, I, know, I know where you're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, an evil spirit entered like it has never entered before. I woke up, took that laptop, I went to the kitchen, some clay sukoju, I put it up there, then I came, then I don't know what she said to me, I got her out of bed, I pushed her to the wall, I... Hit her. <gasps> you're pregnant twice. And then I, I realized. A, a GB, not a terabyte. So you beat, like you beat up your wife. Yes. And then I realized Allah. I have done wrong. <laughs> Immediately. I have on my knee. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Then she's like, okay, you're forgiven. But I'm going. I'm like, no, no, no. You All can't right. go. You Pause. can't go. That red flag, you said. Mm. Uh, you still judging those guys. You are judging. Hey. Those Mine guys, was in the kitchen. That red flag, <laughs> that red flag you saw yes, when you were dating yes. of his anger, this pressure is piling Has up. Piled up. We're not excusing, we, and we, we are not blaming that demon. This no. is just this no. is part and parcel of his. He, yes, he had a yes, temper. Yes, yes, he had a temper. So now he's unleashed it on you. On me. On us. On us. Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes and you're saying. Yes. And so now, yes. now, wo me chapo na um say. Sasa, kosa me chapa nani? Nani kona boli yake? Ah, acha ni kwambie. I packed. So, but you are, you are packing to go to the hospital. No, right? that is. <laughs> Where I left, I was not chased. So you, she had packed to go to the hospital. <laughs> this packing was too much. You are wondering, hey, you are just going to the hospital. But no, this no. is packing. I, I would see that this is packing not for the hospital. Because it was actually, we were packing. How she was packing, she was packing in boxes. <laughs> Not we had packed already for hospital. You see, you see, the day was 14th, yeah. So that, that bag, I knew where it was. We had we'd been doing La Masque classes together, yes. so I knew what was for packing for the hospital. That bag, I knew where it was, yeah. And we had packed it jointly. Yeah. This one was for boxes, dude. Yes. You messed up, yeah. Hey, only mm. hey, <laughs> Baba. So, hey, Mr. Kibinda, <clears throat> you say, Daddy, hey. I'm home, I'm coming home, yeah, I'm coming, coming home. home. Yeah. Home and, and yeah. so uh -huh. I I head home. Yes. <laughs> My father is a very respectful, typical African man. Yes. And I tell him I'm coming home. Yes. First he asks me, Have you told your mother on the other side? Dude, I'm your daughter. That's what you're talking yes. about. Yeah. So 
because they had promised they gave me away, so they, their responsibility was with um, his mom. So I say, no. And then the other question is like, so what was your part in this? Mm. Toot! <laughs> I am the victim here. <laughs> but I totally understood where he was uh, coming from because it takes two to tango. So you call your mother-in-law? Uh, later, yes. later. I, uh, in the course of that week, because my son came a week after. He okay. came on the 21st. He just turned. Uh, so take him, comes on the 21st? Yes. And uh, you, get to see him? you get to see him? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> but was he there for the delivery? No, why? I, I was he's, in he's hospital. A, he's the child, he's a child's no, father. No, he's the dad to the child, not the father. <laughs> eh? He's the dad. Eh? Yeah, fathers take responsibility. Fathers take This is dad. This is but, what they but, say. But he was taking responsibility. Where? Well, after issue. he threatened me, he almost killed me, killed us. Yeah. Because um, at the time of the... <laughs> oh, Mesoga. I, <laughs> I don't want to be on your bad side, man. <laughs> Dang, girl. No, I must say, because of the trauma, yes. uh, the baby did not move the entire wow. night. And so you that, see, that, that the ADD be, was the following day, because it was at 40 weeks. Harrowing yeah. experience. Yes. So, I mean, it has taken time, because even with banging doors, he would. So, it's taken time. Yeah. Uh, so, I was like, where is he coming? To do what? And then also, because I want to give birth in a serene environment. This is negative energy. This is negative chi. A toke. So, she do a I can do this all On by myself. myself. Yeah. So, you, do you get so. to see Tay? I, I, however, spent the whole day in hospital. She had wind of the fact that I'm around and sent, sent word around yeah. that I should not be there. So, the nurses, I, I got to know who which nurse was uh, attending to, this attending to yeah. him, uh, to her and the baby. So I asked immediately, he's out, immediately goes to the nursery, please call me. So uh, I was escorted by my best friend. Uh, so he, Who is here today. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, so immediately after, uh, after she, she, she gave birth and was taken to the nursery, I went in, I prayed for the child, um, I just anointed him and we, we took prayed together. Photos took a few photos with an ideal squad. Uh, <laughs> and then went and came back the following day. Now to, 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 we came back with my mother the following day. How do I forgive and reconcile and redeem myself? This is somebody who's asking this. You've been there. I think self-forgiveness is actually harder than even forgiving others. You, you're the villain here. Yeah, exactly. Forgiving self is a lot harder than when you're wronged by another person. Because you... you tend to be afraid that um, you, you, you are forever haunted by your own actions. It could be a one-time thing, but it can forever haunt you. So you, you pray, you have to go to God to really, you, you, you feel like you can never earn God's forgiveness enough for yourself. You now know what you're capable. Exactly. At this, this, this is your law. Exactly. So, so last week we heard that now, that you, you, was your marriage over? Oh, yes. Hiya. Control all the... Ah, forget. As in, yes. clear, recycle, bin, format, hard drive, everything. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah because I had not signed up for that. So, could I say this? Eh? Yes. Hearing how you did this, because of all the drama you've gone through, you had already considered this marriage over. Yes. But this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yes. Yes. So you said... I've gone through all this. Yes. I love for many chapters. Never. It's over. Yeah. So for me, I think that was the sign for you've been rejecting me. Yes. So let me, this has been the last thing uh, for this process. So let me make it easier for you. Yeah. Don't have to struggle anymore. Goodbye. Did you ever think about this marriage ending before? Yes, there were moments. Many moments, as will every married woman. No? Yes? Think about they will not admit. They're next oh. to their husband. Oh, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Husbands, many times yes. your wife thinks about leaving, yeah, she's and like, we is pack. This it? Is this it? Yes, and because I know there is Airbnb, hey. we know which one yes. we are going to. Um, but unpack. Okay. Unpack. Yeah. So, you're apart. Do you get to see? Do you get to see Tay? Um, for a, yes, at the beginning. After, after he gets out of the hospital. Yeah. At, 
uh, yeah, uh, at the beginning when they go back home, uh, but in very interesting circumstances. It wasn't always easy. Uh, there was a feeling of uh, hostility because we would always communicate on email and... You are not talking. We are not talking. Why? Phone call. Why are no. we talking? You are on email. Why email? Yes. Because the marriage is over. So me, I'm collecting evidence for my divorce lawyer. <laughs> yeah. It's over, man. <laughs> First of all, this grace. <laughs> It's a so, different story now. So it's, it's yeah. a different story. Come okay. closer. <laughs> okay, come closer. All right, here we are. You're, you're, you're contemplating divorce. All right, it's over. And then you're communicating on email. What's happening for you? Your marriage is I, I mean, pretty much over. At that time, I took to, to doing many things. I took to farming. I took to continuing with my education. I took to a lot of work. I took to alcohol. I took to going out. But, but you know, this is how we, we saw it also. This guy, things have happened with his wife, and then now you're staying in Shokimau, yeah, yeah. and you had somebody, your friend, move with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... So a friend of yours moved in with you. <laughs> but now, he, he's a, the head of the gay lobby. <laughs> and Ajama has moved in. You see, you see the way it looks, yeah? So, and so then you want me to expose my child to that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So for you, you're saying you don't want... You're, you're, not, yeah. you're not sure about Yes, about uh, this that. situation shape. So, 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 so... Hey, Pastor Go, it's as if you paint it like that. No, I'm just seeing. I'm just trying to be able to understand where, where Maxi is, eh? Hey, it was for redemption, let me tell you. I, I, otherwise, you'd have, gone, you'd have been going nuts. I... I, I not just one, actually. I lived with a couple of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. With, with a couple of people. M both male and female. So, here, here it is. Yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you reach a point of depression? Yes, I did. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know then that it was called depression. Um, but it was hard. It was hard and it was... It was harder than even the issues we were going through. Because... Let, but, but let me clarify here. You're, you are not gay. No, 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 no. You are never no, gay. No, no, no. All right? No. It's just that the perception people had, or the way it may look, even <laughs> us talking now. I don't know. I mean, that, that's, that's not the story, yes. really. So that, it has never bothered me, and there is never need to explain, explain or defend that. it. Yes. Yeah, but um, obviously there were talks of that nature because of the work. Got you. But after, after a long time of... Uh, the, the stories were... Obviously, I remember the, the biggest scandal was um, I had a PA who was one of the guys that I was working with at Galk. Yeah. Um, just because in one travel, th there, was, th there was work that I'd given him to do, and he's flamboyant. Yeah, about how uh, he Yeah, the people in the gay community themselves now said that he was, he was, he was favored of me. Yeah. Yeah, he was... He was my partner. Yes. So you? So both inside the community and answer. outside the community, there was a lot of rumor of that nature. Madam Church, this year in the church. So what's happening to the community around both of you guys? You, you're getting into a depression or there. What's happening to the community around you guys? So we are all being surrounded by people who are taking sides. Yeah. Rightfully yeah. so, I think. Um, so I'm immersing myself in raising my child. Um, was this healthy? Healthy? Yes, it was. It was healthy interactions with your with your community around you, or yes, I think it was. It was because yeah. that's what um, catapulted uh, me to where we are today. Now, yeah, yes. today I got back to school, finished school. Um, got into very interesting spaces and yeah. started working on me as well. Because yeah. I realized there were many uh, instances that uh, I also played a major part. In, so you believe you in, played a part yes. into where the marriage yes, yes. Um, started? Failed. Yes, yes. Started wow. to fail. So, yeah. So, how long were you guys email on Neil by Mouth and non-communication? Neil by Mouth was two and a half years. Yes. And then... 
You yeah. didn't you didn't see your son, you didn't interact. There with were him. pockets of that. And but the, were they they were not choreographed. These were like eh, arranged like military arrangements. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't joke. Yeah. So but for two and a half years there's yeah. no pretty e- much no contact. Email communication. Email communication. So on this very interesting date, mm-hmm. uh, on, on an October of twenty fourteen. Uh, a friend of mine and I go to Toa Tukuza concert. Yeah. And then we see Waidera Uko bubbling like her usual, her usual self is. Yeah. Uh, dancing and uh, was part of the team. Yeah. Uh, so the following day, I call her. She didn't even have my number. What? Waidera? This is the father of your husband. <laughs> my father of my child. Sorry, father of your child, sorry. <laughs> even me, I'm now confused. The father uh, of your child. Yes. So if your child ever got sick, uh, would, you, would you have, who, how would you have called I deal, I deal with it. He did get sick. Yes. I would sort it. So he would never know. Why? So why is it that you picked his call? Because I saw, actually thought it was my friend's number, a uh, girl called Sandra. Yeah, and true caller doesn't work for you. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for me because I am living on okay. average means. Play out this conversation. <laughs> How does it sound? Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is Maxi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was just calling to say you, 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 you bless me a lot on Sunday. Okay. And also, yeah, how are you? Fine. Can, can, we, can, we, can, we, can I see you this week? Why? Just to see you. Why? Just to hang out. I'll talk to you later. I'm feeding the child. Okay. This is my number. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it went. That, that I was so confused. didn't even go 45 seconds. Why? But then she indeed <laughs> called back. I did call back. You called back. Yeah. There was grace. At least you. Yeah, at least. See God. Uh, see, see God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so see she God. called back. Yeah. And when when she called back, she, um, at least there was, there, there was a slightly better tone. <laughs> so when you called, what was what did you want? I wanted just to see her, but I was I was strategic because that week also happened to be the week of the thirtieth. So I asked her, "Can we meet on the thirtieth of October?" Did you know? Did, did you know that it was the 30th? No. It, it didn't mean much. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't mean occur much, to you. yeah. Okay. It didn't mean much. So you, meet, you, you, you agreed to meet? Yes. It was going to be our fourth anniversary. So she, we, we met on the 30th of the month, and uh, she chose the venue. Um, some Close place, to Ngong Road. Yeah, some place in Ngong Road. To a cop station. <laughs> Where were you in Ngong Road? Eh? <laughs> but you needed to be near a cop near station. Near a cop station. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> So some place in, uh, in, in La Vie, um, we, we met. Her agenda was very different from my agenda for meeting. I really just genuinely wanted to meet her. And, and, you, and you, what was your agenda? Divorce. So you met, you let him finish what he had to say, and then? I didn't even have much to say. I just really wanted to. Uh, so just so to, I came all glammed up. Oh, she was looking nice. Oh. Looking hot. Oh. Yeah, just to show him I can do all this by myself. Self. See God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I also wanted my divorce. Like, really, watch up with time. Yeah. So, that if I go meet another hot yellow man, yes. me and my son are off. off. Yeah. Yeah, but I told her outright, no, I'm not giving you a divorce. Uh, and then she walked off. But God is good. <laughs> this is God. Yeah. See God also for me. Yeah. That same. F- <laughs> that was Thursday. Saturday evening, she's the one who is texting and says, if you get transport on, sa- on Sunday, will be at um, UTR, under the radar. You can come and uh, hang out. With there's Agus Code Yeah. Hey, I'm like, what? That evening, I went for a haircut. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went, I'm like, so, what? Why there are, here you are. I'm like, like, I can pick you guys. You Let, are, let's you do are this. You are cold-hearted. I know. And, 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 I'm and, having healthy boundaries. You have really, you have, you've been hurt. Mm. I recognize where that is coming from. Uh, and, but why? Do you want him to meet your son? What has changed? First, In just like three, four days. <laughs> First to see God. For real. Yeah. Just to see like for the last three or so years, yeah. we have really made it without you. So you owe us nothing. nothing. Yeah. But also please give me my divorce because I need to move on. So for you, what you're doing is just priming him for divorce. Yeah. But you, what you and want And then we is... start talking about this co-parenting thing. Yeah. It needs to work for yeah. the sake of this 
child. Okay. Yeah. So for you, now you've softened up saying there is a place where you need to be able to, to raise this child. Yeah. The community around you, are they speaking positively in your life? Uh, yeah, are but very cautiously as okay. well because right. they still know I'm very raw. So Maxi, you meet? So we meet, meet this Sunday. Uh, we hang out the entire after. It's really awesome. Uh, the boys, I mean, the boy... Uh, something I do with my tongue, he's doing it, so I'm like, oh, no, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was just an amazing time. Then uh, a week later, she says, yeah, we'll be at the same place this Sunday, so you can come. So, so we start, it starts being regular, but something else starts being regular. Yeah. Tuesdays and Fridays, we start hanging out. And that other loose weekdays like this, that November and December and January, we start hanging out a lot, a lot. So I'm dropping her home every other weekday um, and we start sort of dating and she's wow. still calling for divorce even wow. after all this. <laughs> in um, his head, it's that positive. So in his head, yeah. he's reconciling. Yeah. For you, I am you're, going you're and trying I'm to going. create a cordial environment yeah. so that you can have this divorce. Exactly. Uh, I am like, I have seen people being civil because of the sake of their children. Yes. That's what I want. But she's having so much fun with her things. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Yanni, she's, she's, I can see the little girl in her. Like something, I can see the 2007 girl, you know, coming out. And yes. She's, uh, she's, every day she's having so much fun. Then in the, in Uku in January, she's, so the amount, the rate at which she's asking for divorce now is starting to reduce. Yeah. It's starting to reduce. So, um, so she undertakes a program that uh, is called Pro uh, Purpose Leadership Forum. That breaks her completely. Like, it, it totally just does something in her insights. Um, in, in May, she asked that I do the program. So why do you ask him to do the program? It was a place for if you're really serious yeah. about us, yeah. you will do the same yeah. uh, class. And so he did he do it? First of all, he paid school fees like two months before. And it's yeah. not to say, it's a lot of money. Yeah. So he paid well in advance. Yes. And so, goes through and I'm it. very confused. So now he's done the class. He would he now... <sighs> that's that already a door that's open. That wasn't the only fleece. She had put a couple of fleeces to God. Like, yes. I don't know what else. We would we, yeah. not enumerate these yeah. ones yeah. And, and all that. But I'm looking at here. Now you've, you finished PLF and what, what happened? Yeah, I proposed to her on the last day of on, on our commissioning day. I proposed to her... Um, yeah, she says yes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we, we, it's been a whole year. So the whole of, uh, it's been like since of the October that we started talking. So a whole uh, year. Uh, the commissioning, my commissioning is on November, the last day of November that, uh, 2015. So I propose and I ask her, so we go out on that evening and then I'm like, okay, so now the plans for the next phase are, I'm, I'm not yet very clear about, because we were married, so, but we need to know how to go about it, because I can't just unplug it. Right? So, so, so you renew your vows? Yes, we renew our vows. The next year? Um, the next year. The next year. You've now moved back home. Mm. Yeah, back, the house. Back to his, his, house. his house. Yes, yes. now it becomes a home. Yes, so that's what, what I, I meant. did there. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Magic guy in the end of the canoe, of course. Yeah. Um, yes, and we begin our lives again. Has it yeah. been easy? No. no. No, it hasn't. You know the thing that gets me as we close and, and let our, our congregation go? The thing that when we're putting this sermon series together, we said, how would we close this sermon series? We said, let's do an interview. You know, let's hear from these guys of Widmead. So what's Widmead? So, you know, they, they say there's no wasted experience. Yeah. So, um, we, got, we got the idea of having, like, a platform that we call it. When I do, means I don't. Yeah. Because that's literally what we went through. Even. Maybe I did go through it a lot. And I still have moments of that every time. Yeah. So, it's a platform where we get married people to just um, uh, come, have conversation. We spark conversations around... Everything from finance, intimacy, everything. Uh, so that they are able to take their marriage to the next level and have candid conversations so that they don't go through what we did. We, we went through. We, okay. we now have a passion for marriages. We, 
We have also opened doors for single people. We have an event coming up as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because this life, and I've come to realize that our marriages are not our own. There are people who are watching, are looking. Um, yeah, so we have to make it right. Somebody asks here, I married an, a non-believer. Is my marriage doomed? No. No, it, it is not doomed. Um, uh, it, 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 the fact that it's, it started off that way doesn't mean that it will end off that way. God is there's redeeming grace. Um, if you keep praying for that partner, um, you can win him over for Christ. Yeah, it's just st stick to the course. And um, it may take long, it may take an, an next period of time, but uh, it's not doomed at all. You now have a third child. Two. Second. Oh, yeah, two. Just two. I'm, I'm don't don't profess. No, no, I'm just kidding. You have a, you have, <laughs> this you have is a, a strong altar, child. yes. You have a second child. Yes. And uh, maybe a parting shot for our congregation here and those who are streaming this. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, guys are streaming. Right there, that camera there. What one are going Say hi. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, here's, here's something that I'm, I'll ask you. Marriage doesn't look like it's an easy thing. So why get into it? Why? I mean, the majority of our congregation are single. So why get into it? Like in Ida and Rania are getting yeah. married. Yeah. Ida, Ida and Charles are getting and married. Charles. Yeah. So why, why, why are guys getting into it? Because love, is, love always wins. Ma marriage is beautiful. Marriage is work. That's the truth. And like every beautiful thing, when you're creating it, it takes work. Yeah. But the, it's also very fulfilling. 80% um, of it is very, very fulfilling. The 20%, which at times, because of our human nature, we tend to, we tend to over glorify. We, we tend to take the 20% and look at it as though it's the only thing that we see. You know, we tend to out, 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 out offshoot. Off into a zone and the 20% the that's not working is the only thing that we are focusing on. But the truth is marriages work and love works and love, love always wins. And if we look at it from that perspective, we will know that we can fan it into, into flame and we will always be passionate and we will always make it work. Um, I think for me, uh, Maybe from a spiri perspective. No, we are all spiri here. Hallelujah. At, at, at NC South. <laughs> at N yes, uh, as I go south. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's because God works through families. He yeah. works through marriages. And that's why he's known as a generational God. You know, yeah. he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and Jacob. Jacob yeah. You know. So can you imagine if we decide we are not getting married? We are not, you know. So he'll not be able to do his purpose. Uh, for us because of our selfishness. You know, one thing I've, I've seen, you know, we've been in this marriage journey, you know, with my wife for now this is our 13th year. But here's stories like yours. I'm remembering our drama seasons. Eh? And um, you give me hope. You guys give me hope. Yes, now. Yeah. We look up to you guys. But I'm for real, man. Okay. I'm for real. And you, you give me hope in the sense that, you know, Marriage has been given a bad rap, but it is designed and was created by God, and he said it was good. Uh, and um, yeah, but again, what you have also shown me is that there's a reality that we are sinners and that marriages fail. But in the fact that your marriage did fail, you have decided now to work back at it and renewed your vows. And now you're coming back and say, this is now, phase. you're calling it phase two. Um, to me, it's hope. Hope, there's hope. And thank you for sharing your story to us. And uh, look forward to hearing more from with me. I would like to incorporate you in our family ministries here when you get the chance. Uh, to those of you who want to get married in the second half of the year, we're going to be starting our premarital counseling classes the month of March. We'll be letting you know that next week. But let's appreciate the Maxis. Father God, thank you for testimonies 
like this. You have uh, shown us that even in our weaknesses, you remain strong. Somehow, somewhere, Father God, at the worst place in these guys' marriage, um, they have found that they can be reconciled to one another, but more so to you. I pray, Father God, for those whose marriages have failed, that, Lord, they would not lose hope. And even though, Lord, they do not come back together as husband and wife, that at least we could celebrate stories like this, that, Father God, you indeed are the God who reconciles and restores. For the marriages here, Father God, may this be a, 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 a time, Father, to reflect and, Father God, to seriously consider how we need to work on the things that bring us and make us one. I pray, Father God, for the many here who are not married, who are single, or rather who have never been married before, that, Lord, this institution of marriage will be one that is highly respected, and that, Father, in their interactions with one another, that, Lord God, they will see testimonies like the Marxists and say, indeed, it's not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So as we go our separate ways today, Father, we ask that you'd give us um, your hand of blessing. I pray that, Lord, you'd watch over us, bless the work of our hands this week, and we pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord God, for every step we make, Lord, we'd walk in faith because the steps of the righteous person are ordered by you. Dismiss us with your blessings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great week, guys. Next week, we start another new sermon series. Check out on our uh, Nairobi Chapel WhatsApp uh, platform. You'll be getting more information about that. Have a great week, guys.